Each day that a great university comes alive enriches the lives of all of us. For each day born here at this seat of learning, the University of Arkansas, is 10,000 days, tens of thousands of lives. For a great university is mother and teacher. A great university is love, wisdom, strength. To one girl or woman, to one boy or man, or to thousands alike down through the years. The founding was in 1871 as Arkansas Industrial University. The names of graduates are inscribed in concrete in the famed Senior Walk. The very earliest were born before the Civil War. After graduation, they went out into the state of Arkansas and served it. In two great world wars, hundreds of graduates from the University of Arkansas left to fight overseas. The university's tradition of service to the nation is unique. In World War II, for instance, no less than five graduates were awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for heroism in action. In addition, the university has furnished many distinguished alumni to national life. But it is its tradition of service to the state that the University of Arkansas has chiefly enriched the land from whence it sprung. Each crisp autumn, the year begins for the University of Arkansas. In terms of history, the seasons pass swiftly. A new spring seems to come almost in an instant. But for those who go through the academic year, it is a time of variety and enrichment. its students, the university is primarily a place of learning, a place which offers expert instruction in fields and careers that are diverse and truly representative of our times. They receive instruction from a faculty that has three times more doctoral degrees than any other college or university in the state. The university offers master's degrees in 59 fields and doctoral degrees in 21 fields. The College of Arts and Sciences offers, for instance, degrees in such subjects as art, architecture, social welfare, and dramatic art, just to name a few. Music majors have a chance to participate in the internationally recognized Scola Cantorum, which is frequently invited to perform in foreign countries. College of Arts and Sciences is also an explorer. University scientists, through extensive research programs, are constantly discovering new knowledge that moves quickly from the laboratory to benefit the people of the state. In the College of Business Administration, students interested in operating their own businesses or in such fields as banking, economics, real estate, insurance, personnel management, or advertising and public relations find corresponding courses of study. The teaching is both theoretical and practical. Of great service to the future of Arkansas is the University College of Education. Here, future teachers study the learning process and develop their own skills in teaching techniques and in motivating others to the challenge of learning and growing. 
students of the College of Engineering have a choice of six undergraduate degree programs. The equipment they work with ranges from this modern accelerator to this collection of modern mechanical equipment. From a generator to a rocket engine. Many engineer graduates apply their training immediately to further the program of the state. In the School of Law, students become well-trained attorneys in approximately three and one half years. Whether they specialize as a trial lawyer or enter private or governmental legal organizations, their university training provides both the tools of the trade and a high sense of ethics. All physically qualified male freshmen take two years of either military science or air science. After two years, those who qualify may elect to take two more years of advanced work, leading to a commission in the United States Army or Air Force. The Graduate School of the University of Arkansas in recent years awarded over 500 master's degrees in 59 fields and nearly 100 doctoral degrees in 21 fields annually. The advanced program for the humanities and in the social and natural sciences is in the Graduate School at the Fayetteville campus. The Graduate Institute of Technology at Little Rock, like the Graduate School, admits only students whose academic standing is 2.5 or higher. Research, vital to Arkansas and the nation, reaches full fruition in the graduate programs, where many students serve as research associates or assistants. The ideal of service as a major product of research has brought both human and material benefits to the state of Arkansas. The University of Arkansas is especially proud of the relationship that exists between its students, faculty, and administration. Each works well with the other and with every sector of the campus community involved in the life and affairs of the university. Another way the university directly affects the lives of people is through its extension division. Through its division of general extension, the university reaches far beyond the limits of its various campuses. Each year it provides correspondence courses for over 8,000 Arkansans and provides adult education and professional seminars for thousands of others. The Division of Agriculture is an admirable example of the three vital functions of an educational institution, teaching, research, and service. The College of Agriculture and Home Economics trains future leaders of agribusiness or workers for agencies of local, state, and federal government. These students are studying relationships between the production of beef, pork, or lamb and its acceptance by consumers. Students in home economics may qualify as dietitians in hospitals or similar institutions, or for positions of responsibility in the clothing industry or other family-related fields. Graduate students make important contributions to research while they work for an advanced degree. As these students study how herbicides affect plants, they use advanced equipment, including this polarograph, which detects changes in the plant's oxygen exchange rate. Most faculty members of the College of Agriculture and Home Economics also hold appointments with the Agricultural Experiment Station, enabling them to keep up with the latest developments in their fields. The Agricultural Experiment Station's research program is designed primarily to perform service to the state, but also contributes to regional and national programs. Goal of the research is to find more efficient ways of producing and marketing agricultural commodities. The research program is very much concerned with every phase of the vital poultry industry, breeding, nutrition, health, processing, and marketing. Beef cattle also are important in the state, and the primary research objective is to develop cattle that can efficiently use the forages available in Arkansas. The station also carries on extensive research on dairy cattle and swine. These pine trees are on a small portion of the station's forest land. Research helps find better ways of controlling diseases and insects of forest trees. In addition to the main station at Fayetteville, there are branch stations throughout the state. Careful attention is given to breeding, growing, harvesting, storing, and marketing soybeans, the state's leading cash crop, and other major crops such as cotton. This prime field is located at the Cotton Branch Station in the heart of the cotton country. 
Arkansas is among the top three states in rice production. At the Rice Branch Station, scientists have helped develop superior varieties and production practices. Arkansas is becoming a leading fruit and vegetable processing state. Research is concerned with how best to handle these products from the field to the table. An Arkansas-developed blackberry harvester is now in commercial production. And station scientists are working on a strawberry harvester. As research develops new information, personnel of the Agricultural Extension Service located in each county explain it to the state's farm operators and homemakers and encourage them to adopt it. This special bus goes into remote rural areas and provides a place of training for disadvantaged youth. Other young people throughout the state acquire information and experience and develop leadership through 4-H clubs organized by the extension personnel in each county. Through research, extension, and resident instruction, the Division of Agriculture strives to serve Arkansas's great agricultural industry and the consuming public. But the university is also at Little Rock. To the two million people of the state of Arkansas, the University Medical Center is much more than a monument of teaching, research, and public service. The medical school has achieved national recognition for its early development of progressive techniques in open heart surgery, kidney transplants, and in other areas of medicine. Today, over a hundred students annually begin their medical training in the education building where they devote themselves to the basic sciences. The majority of the third and fourth years is devoted to clinical education in the hospital. The full-time faculty of over 120 include some of the top scientists and educators in the fields of medicine. In years past, the majority of the physicians in Arkansas came from other states, but in recent years, the trend has been reversed. Today, nearly 60% of the state's physicians are University of Arkansas graduates. In 1953, the first students entered the University of Arkansas's new School of Nursing. Today, the school graduates about 30 nurses annually. Like the doctors, most University of Arkansas graduates in nursing choose to render their valuable services in the state. One of the fastest growing schools at the medical center is the School of Pharmacy. Each year, many of the pharmacists who meet the requirements of the state examining board are University of Arkansas graduates. The constantly expanding medical center also contains a school of medical technology, where technologists receive their specialized training in such fields as chemistry, hematology, and bacteriology. Here, a modern clinical laboratory maintains a large blood bank and saves costs by preparing its own plasma fractions. Each year, approximately 15 graduates of the School of Medical Technology enter service to their state and nation. The two-year School of X-ray Technology has supplied Arkansas with 69% of all its graduates since its founding in the mid-1930s. After expert training in X-ray techniques, radiation therapy, and isotope procedures, graduates are qualified to work in hospitals, clinics, and physicians' offices. The completion of the T.H. Barton Institute for Medical Research in 1960 opened a new era in medicine in Arkansas. In addition to open heart surgery and kidney transplants, the Institute has pioneered in such areas as vitamin E research, research on freeze preservation of living cells, and research on gallbladder diseases, and on the causes of learning problems in children. Here is another example of research time-lapse x-ray movies which depict bone growth over a six weeks period. Here, candidates for the master degree and doctor of philosophy degree perform research work in microbiology. But of all the manifest areas of service by the University of Arkansas Medical Center, none is more direct and personal than the services it renders to those who need expert medical attention. To this patient and thousands like her, the University Hospital is a place of healing and of expert medical service.
whether students or alumni live in Little Rock or elsewhere, all roads lead to Fayetteville during major sports competition. No phase of university life attracts more enthusiasm and public support throughout the state than Razorback Athletics. To be sure, football reigns first in popularity, but the U of A has a broad-based athletic program that includes top caliber competition in nine athletic events. The spacious Barnhill Fieldhouse, completed in 1956, houses the Department of Athletics. It is the home of Razorback basketball, and it serves as a multi-purpose center for indoor practice of other sports. Excellent athletic facilities at the university include this beautiful new collegiate-sized swimming pool, site of the 1968 Southwest Conference meet. As a charter member of the Southwest Conference, Arkansas can take pride in its athletic accomplishments. Well-stocked trophy cases testify to past Razorback successes. This 1964 football team brought the U of A its greatest moment of gridiron glory, a national championship with 11 straight victories. And on February 5, 1965, the U of A celebrated National Championship Day before a crowd of 10,000 cheering fans. These three beautiful national championship trophies are now a focal point in the lobby of Barnhill Fieldhouse. But success has been earned on every front, in basketball, track, golf, and other sports. In the fall of the year, be it businessman, farmer, housewife, or teenager, in Arkansas, all attention turns to Razorback football. A familiar battle cry rings out. the Razorbacks delight record crowds with a fighting tradition. The Razorbacks have enjoyed many great moments on the gridiron in 75 years of football, from the first undefeated team of 1909 right up to the present. But the last decade has been Arkansas's greatest period of football prosperity. In a span of just eight years, Arkansas sent six nationally ranked teams to major bowl games, produced five Southwest Conference champions and the national championship of 1964 that saw Arkansas extend its winning streak to 22 games, a Southwest Conference record. This prosperity saw Arkansas add 10 new All-Americans to those of earlier years in its unique Hall of Fame gallery in the lobby of Barnhill Fieldhouse. Over 100 former Razorbacks in six sports have been so honored. Arkansas's record as a basketball power was established early with five straight titles beginning in 1926. The Razorbacks now lead the conference with 14 basketball championships, and Arkansas can number its all-conference players by the dozens. A highlight in basketball history came in 1936, when the Porkers went to the semifinals of the U.S. Olympic tryouts. And in track, the U of A is making tremendous progress. The top attraction of the year is the annual Arkansas Relays, with some 25 major university teams in competition at Razorback Stadium. The Forkers have produced nearly 40 gold medal winners in conference track and field, and have dominated the distance events with eight cross-country titles in recent years. Razorback baseball can trace its start to the turn of the century when early Arkansas teams met major league clubs in competition. A sound athletic program, totally oriented to the academic community, has been a source of pride to the University of Arkansas. Under the leadership of athletic director John Barnhill, it is a program moving ahead on every front, with excellent facilities, well-qualified coaches, and with a fresh appeal to the people of Arkansas. Razorback Athletics helps to make the U of A part of everyone's life. The service the university renders is a direct product of the support it receives. Here, President David W. Mullins gratefully acknowledges some of this support. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement which I am sure will be of great interest to all of you. This is a highly significant figure. This is the amount which was pledged within a 30-minute period at a $1,000 a plate dinners 
sponsored by the Fayetteville Chamber of Commerce. This money is to be used for the purchase of urgently needed land for the expansion of the University of Arkansas's main campus at Fayetteville. The amount of this support now has grown to this very significant figure. One evidence of the importance of the University of Arkansas to the nation was the appearance of Vice President Hubert H. Humphrey at the 1968 commencement exercises. Thank you very much. It is true, as President Mullins has indicated, that I have a special feeling of kinship, feeling of friendship towards our great land-grant colleges and universities which represent the backbone, the bulwark of higher education in this great republic of ours. And the land-grant college and university symbolizes what a university ought to be, an institution of higher learning, to be sure, but also an institution of service, service to the community, service to the nation, service to individuals. And as I sense from this great commencement today, of service and of training and teaching to people from other lands as well as our own. Whether expansion takes place on new land or old land, or takes the form of libraries, classrooms, or residence halls, it is always going on at the University of Arkansas. It goes on because it must go on to meet the educational needs of the state. Since 1960, construction of new residence halls has had to produce an average of 400 new student spaces per year. At present, 14 residence halls house 2,100 men students, 2,100 women students, and 300 married couples, or about half of a total student body that is becoming increasingly cosmopolitan. Administrative officers such as President Mullins, as well as students, faculty, and alumni, know and appreciate the unique service rendered by their university. The production of this motion picture has been financed in large measure by the alumni of the University of Arkansas, working through their alumni association. The alumni and other friends of the University of Arkansas have helped their alma mater through financial support for a massive loan and scholarship program, for able and deserving students, for annual cash awards to distinguished faculty members, and honor students of each graduating class, and for an endowment chair program to attract and hold outstanding faculty. This kind of support will play a significant role in a university development program which will culminate with the University of Arkansas Centennial in the academic year 1971-72. A gift to the university is an investment in the future of the state and its people. The campus of the university encompasses the entire state and in one way or another, through its manifold programs of teaching, research, and public service, the University of Arkansas serves every county, every community, and indeed almost every family in Arkansas. This support and this enthusiasm enables the University of Arkansas to provide excellence in teaching, research of paramount interest to the state, and serve its community, state, and nation, and to give its multitude of students the opportunity to partake of knowledge and to use that knowledge in service to all the people. <laughs>